Hey, what is good, A team? It's your boy T back at it with this 2021 NFL playoff prediction video, bro. I dropped this match yesterday, and whole time I, I didn't know at all, bro. Whole time I'm using the wrong bracket. Now I had all my picks right for the for the wild card uh, round. But going into the second round and into the NFC and AFC championship games, that was all off, you feel me? I don't know what bracket I was using. I can't I can't even remember where I got it from. I think I might have just found it on like Google. But y'all corrected me in the comments, so I just went ahead, took the video down. And I appreciate all the ones who showed love, dropped comments on that video. But I, hey, I had to take it down, bro, you feel me? I said I might as well go ahead and redo it with the right bracket. Um, but like I told y'all in that video, we're doing this video right now. So this is the initial playoff prediction video. Of course, all the games start this Saturday. I think it's three Saturday, three Sunday. So after that, I'll be doing my reaction to the Saints versus the Bears. Because for all the ones who don't know your boys, a Saints fan, you feel me? We going crazy this year, but um, I'm gonna do that reaction. And I think I'm gonna drop a separate video to my update to the playoff prediction. So after all the wild card games are finished, I'm gonna do my predictions uh, after that. So I may either change them up or I, I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna do it just yet. Just wanted to give y'all a heads up, bro. Um, hey, and y'all get down there in the comments, let me know who y'all team is or just who y'all rocking with for this playoff run. Um, I know on the video I dropped yesterday, there was a Seahawks fan and a Packers fan as well. And of course, one of my homegrown Saints fans, you feel me? But either way, let's go ahead and hop on into this, bro. Let's go ahead and hop on in. Let me pull it up right here for y'all. Um, so basically we got, I got, I mean, I'm keeping all my same picks from yesterday, but for the ones who might've not seen it, we just gonna start it straight from scratch. We are gonna start from the AFC, move over to the NFC. Um, so at the top here, we got the Browns versus the Steelers. I got the Steelers for that. Um, I picked them yesterday. I had, I told y'all two of my boys are actually Steelers fans. Um, but I just think the Steelers are gonna take it cause the Browns are missing, they're gonna be missing a head coach. And like, I think two players and like a couple other coaches as well because of COVID protocols. So I'm going with the Steelers in that game. The Browns did just beat the Steelers on Sunday, last Sunday for the last game of the season, but they did, I don't think Ben Roethlisberger played and they like two or three of the other starters wasn't playing, but the Browns won by like two or three points. So I'm taking the Steelers in that game Got the Colts versus the Bills. I gotta go with the Bills, bro. I wanna go with the Colts. My brother's actually a Colts fan and they got, they they defense is A1 and they offense ain't bad either, you feel me? But I gotta go with the Bills because I've been hearing some good stuff about them, bro. I haven't seen either of these teams highlights too much this, this uh, season, but I heard a lot of good stuff about Josh Allen. They said this man is legit. So I'm gonna pick the Bills and and that one, so we would have the Bills versus the Steelers in the divisional round. Um, the next one, the Ravens versus the Titans. I'm going with the Ravens. I know the Titans got Derrick Henry. Um, I think they say he hit over 2,000 yards with the, the last game in week 17. So that's, that's definitely pretty dope, but I gotta go with the Ravens, bruh. But the Ravens have been a little shaky this season, but I'ma still go with the Ravens, you feel me? So we got the Steelers versus the Bills for the divisional round and the Ravens versus the Chiefs. So we're gonna move on over to the NFC. We got the Rams versus the Seahawks. I'm taking the Seahawks. I told y'all this yesterday, the Se or the, the, the uh, Rams to me, been a little shaky, bro. They took a L this season to the New York Jets. The New York Jets were zero and like 13 at the time and y'all took a L. Now the New York Jets, I know they're sick because y'all niggas missed out on Joe Burrow, I think. The number one pick in the draft because you won that one game. But I think they ended up winning two games, if I'm not mistaken. Either way, it is what it is, bruh. Um, the Rams, I just don't believe in them right now, so I'm going with the Seahawks. Bears versus the Saints. Y'all know I'm taking my Saints, you feel me? We got, hey, we going crazy. This year, like I mentioned in the video I dropped yesterday, I feel like my Saints are gonna take it one game at a time. Not that we've ever just looked on past the opponent, but I feel like we gonna take care of every opponent as we face them, you feel me? And not just like letting them get back in the game type stuff. Like, like 
Like, if we up, we gonna take care of it, hold on to it, and move on to the next game, you feel me? Because the last three years, bruh, the Vikings, the miracle of Minneapolis, uh, who was the other one? The damn Rams with the pass interference call, and then we lost to the Vikings again last year in the first round of the playoffs at home. That was wild, bruh. But I'm taking my Saints. Um, so we will have the Seahawks versus the Saints in the division. Now, that's gonna be a good one, coach. Now, I'll be honest with y'all, my Saints have struggled this year when, when when we've played against teams with a scrambling quarterback, and obviously Russell Wilson is a scrambling quarterback. So we're gonna have to figure that out for sure, you feel me? If we can hold that part of it down, I feel like we'll be good to go. I know DK Metcalf is gonna be, and I think uh, Tyler Lockett, is that his name? Those two are gonna be tough to, to stop, but I feel like Wilson is our main priority. If we can't stop him, it's gonna be a tough game, you feel me? But on to the... Buccaneers and the Redskins. I'm taking the Buccaneers. The Redskins, they could come and pull it out. That would be wild if they did pull it out. But I'm going to take the, the Buccaneers. And I heard that uh, Chase Young, the defensive lineman for the Redskins, was a a after the actual game, was like, I'm coming for you, Brady, and all that stuff. You feel me? You better back it up, big dog. That's all I'm gonna say. So for the division around for the NFC, we got the Seahawks versus Saints, and it would be the the Packers versus the Buccaneers. That's tough. Now they're gonna be at Lambeau Field for that, but we're gonna move back to the actual AFC for the division around. Steelers versus the Bills. I'm taking the Bills. Now yesterday I was a little iffy. Well, actually, I don't even think I was doing this matchup. So either way. Steelers versus the, the uh, Bills, I'm taking the Bills. The Steelers, to me, they've had, like I picked them over the uh, Browns because I don't believe in Cleveland like that, you feel me? But the Steelers, I, I feel like they're gonna toughen it up in the playoffs, but it's still like, I don't know, bro. Like I said, what I've been hearing about Buffalo, I'm gonna pick them for that game. Um, Baltimore and Kansas City, I feel like Baltimore would have a chance to like upset them if they just went out there on their A game. But I still gotta go with Kansas City, bruh. You feel me? I have to go with Kansas City for that one. So for the AFC Championship, the Bills versus the Chiefs. The Bills versus the Chiefs, on to the NFC. Seahawks versus the Saints. I remember my Saints, this is back in like 20, uh, 2012 or 2013, we lost to the Seahawks in the wild card game, if I'm not mistaken. 2012 or 2013, I remember I was I was in college when I met. Either way, that's gonna be a tough one, but I'm gonna pick my Saints, of course. The Seahawks, like I said, we just gotta contain Wilson, bro. I know that's gonna be hard to to do, but if we could force it one or two turnovers and just keep him contained to an extent, we'll be good to go, bro. We'll be good to go. So I'm gonna take my Saints in that. Our defense is capable of it. We just got to come out and do it. You feel me? Buccaneers versus the Packers. Now, it would be tough if Brady upset Rodgers to meet my Saints in the NFC Championship. But I ain't going to do it. Especially if they play at Lambeau Field. I'm taking the Packers in that one, Coach. <laughs> I'm taking the Packers. So, for the AFC Championship, we got... The Bills versus the Chiefs. NFC, we got the Saints versus the Packers. <clears throat> this is where them palms get sweaty. Knees weak. Oh, they heavy. This vomit on this sweat. Oh, come on, coach. This is where, hey. So the Chiefs versus the Bills. Now, everybody's been saying the Chiefs or the, the Bills have the best chance to upset the Chiefs. I still got to go with the Chiefs, though, bro. And I mentioned this in the video I put up yesterday. The Chiefs, to me, it's always like they're they're always in the game. Like they, they're either blowing you out at the end of the game. So it's like they already won it with like five minutes left. They either blowing you out already. So the game's basically already over or it's close enough to where they going to get the ball back and they going to make something happen. So I'm going to have to go with the Chiefs on that, bro. I'm going to have to go with the Chiefs. Like it's gonna take a per a perfect game from a, from an opposing team to beat the damn Chiefs. You feel me? Or not even a perfect game, but a damn near perfect game. You feel me? 
So we're gonna move on to the to the uh, NFC Championship. But I, I am ready ready to to see how Josh Allen plays because, like I said, I did I haven't seen him too much this season, but I've heard a lot about what he's done this year. So I'm definitely ready to see how he plays for sure. But Packers versus the Saints in the championship, coach. My boy Drew Brees. I talked about this yesterday. It would be tough to see my boy Drew Brees beat top quarterbacks in their homes to get to the Super Bowl and then beat the Chiefs in the Super Bowl. You feel me? That would be a tough way for, for Brees to go out, retire. You got you got a second championship and you got the damn NFC championship. Or, or no, I'm, I'm tripping. You got a second Super Bowl ring and you got MVP. Because like I said, if the Saints were to win it, all Drew Brees has to actually do is have a decent game. He don't even have to go crazy, and I feel like he would get Super Bowl, Super Bowl MVP. That's just my opinion, because it would be his last season. I feel like they would just give it to him, and I feel like nobody on that team would be mad at that. You feel me? But um, I'm picking my Saints at Lambeau. I know it's going to be a tough one. I know it. You feel me? I, I am picking them because they're my team, but I honestly feel like... Well, if I wasn't a Saints fan, would I pick them... I don't know, bro, because I would say, like, it's, I feel like it's going to be a close game. Like, we played them earlier this year, and I think they kind of, they didn't blow us out, but it was like they were up by a good amount throughout the actual game, but I think we ended up bringing it within, like, six points or something like that towards the end of the game. But we were at home. You feel me? This ain't Lambeau Field where it might be snowing and five degrees outside. You feel me? But... We gonna have to come out and show up for sure. Niggas need heated jackets and all that on the sideline. If we can come out and hold it down, I'm picking my Saints, bro. So the Super Bowl, Chiefs versus the Saints. Y'all know we played the Chiefs the first week. Drew Brees came back at home and we lost by three. That was Drew Brees' first game back from them rib injuries and we lost by three. Now we can't just say, oh, well, we lost by three and he was just getting back. So now that he's back, we can beat them by 13. Now we can't just do that, you feel me? But I feel like my boy's gonna hold it down. We get to the Super Bowl, we hyped up. That defense finna go crazy. Nah, Mahomes is Mahomes. He gonna, he gonna do what he do because when we played them, he took a big hit, bro. Somebody was hitting him from behind. Somebody hit him in the front. They basically crushed this man. Like, you feel me? Like, crushed, like literally sandwiched the man. He got up, he was limping a little bit, still came back, did his thing. So that's my homes for you. Our defense is going to have to hold it down and be hounding that man the whole game. But if we in the Super Bowl, I'm picking my Saints, bro. I'm picking my Saints. What you mean? Hey, that's my 2021 NFL playoff predictions updated. Like I said, we started off with the wrong uh, brackets, but we got it right. You feel me? I appreciate y'all for correcting your boy down there in the comments. But hey, man, that's my thoughts, you feel me? That's my thoughts. Y'all get down there in the comments. Y'all let me know what y'all think about my picks. Like I said, drop drop down there in the comments who y'all team is. And if you don't have a team in it, let me know who you think is going to win it, you feel me? Or at least give me y'all like Super Bowl matchup. Um, that's tough, bro. I'm, I'm definitely ready for these games to start. It's so wild to me, though, that, you know what I'm saying? We finished second seed and we in a wild card game. How that work, bro? That's tough. That's tough, bro. But hey, man, like I said, that's just my thoughts on it. Y'all get down there in the comments. Let me know what y'all thought about it. And let me know y'all thoughts on this year's playoffs. Ain't really got too much else to say, though, bro. We on the road to 15K subscribers, 18. I appreciate all the love y'all been showing so far. Let's keep it going. Keep it growing. And like I always say, y'all keep coming back, tuning in. I'm going to keep these videos rolling out. We're going to keep getting it lit over here. Catch y'all in the next video. I need a box to sit to the spot. You're trapping this froze, and I'm getting hot. I'm having all the O's looking like in and I. I got a Glock, it came with a box. 